Hey, I'm out hiking again. I was walking along here, I got my little Roscoe with me, we're going up, up a hill. Uh, about religion, because somebody asked me something because of one of my posts. And she said, well, you know, look how strong it is. People, it's, you know, it's lasted for centuries and so forth. And the thing is, it has. And I'm not an expert in history, medieval history, ancient history or religion. But it, it, it makes sense to me from what I understand you know, the rise of Christianity, which is probably uh, the mo most revolutionary of the religions, fought against the, the le leading body of the state at that time, or the principality, or whatever you would call it, the possession of Rome, uh, uh, the Sanhedrin. He, he rose, he questioned their authority, he, they, he undermined their authority. So they toasted him if there was a, such a person, but if not, if, a person like that, who, whatever. Uh, and it ended up spreading through people who, that had followed it. And f as far as I understand, the first time it became a state religion was when the uh, empire of the Byzantine, is it? The, the Istanbul, uh, uh, the, no, no, the Roman, Roman emperor, I think. But one of those two, I think it was the Roman. The Roman empire, when it became a, uh, a state religion and the, uh, the leader be converted and so in other words the ruling class took it and the ruling class used it to its benefits and through through ancient, throughout history and it's true of all religion it was passed down as the I, the dominant ideology in the state in education in everything with tales of terrifying results if you don't adopt this view of the world and this magical stuff and it's just like you know me and my friend who always so are about we say we're going to start building a, a juju branch juju branch in uh, in the town so because we if christianity can call itself legitimate why shouldn't or hindu or islam why shouldn't juju <laughs> and i always bring that up because in nigeria my mum always used to give me money for the juju man don't forget and uh so anyway so so that's why it's so strong each ruling class has taken it and uh, used it as a means of maintaining power and, under, uh, and, and controlling thought and understanding of the world. And, and, um, and so what, what's happened, as, as new ruling classes develop, the, the, the capitalist class within the, in Europe, within the uh, uh, confines of feudalism, they needed a new religion to fit. And it, that religion was Protestantism in the Reformation. You know, Luther. And so they had to change. The religion had to change. You couldn't have a religion that forbade money lending and looked down on mercantile activity because the, most of the capitalist capitalism was mercantile. And so that seems like a bloody fair explanation to me. And I'm going to put this, I think I'll put it on the blog, because I do think about this stuff when I walk. And I try to think about the world in a material way. Although I read about it, I try to consciously think about it. And uh, it made me think about something about the Saudis, but I might put that in separate. Anyway, I'm just walking in a beautiful place with my little Roscoe. See you later. I'm going to put another one up that I did a couple of nights ago. It's a bit funny, I think. Bye.